What's up everybody, my name is Morgan and today I want to tell you about three things that I learned on this special journey that I call marriage. First of all, I want to say that I am not a marriage expert nor do I claim to be, but learning is an ongoing journey that never ends and nobody knows everything except my wife. But regardless, we have worked very hard on our relationship. Side note from a previous video, I spent the first year and a half of my marriage on anxiety medication. During that time, I was very out of tune with my body and kind of out of tune with my wife. We've been together for, I think, almost 10 years now. Um, married for now three as of yesterday. But during my journey, our journey, uh, I've actually learned a lot and we're now more in tune with each other than we've ever been before in our lives. And it's really great. So tip number one is communication. This is probably very apparent for some and may come easy to others. but Everyone has seen and learned things differently. I didn't know how important communication was with my wife until I wasn't doing it. And I was wondering, why do we keep having so many arguments? Sometimes a lot of the arguments would be involving, why can't you just read my mind? Or I can't read your mind. I think it's a very common theme in some people's relationships, the mind reading thing. Unless you can actually read someone else's mind, don't try it in a relationship because Nine times out of 10 or 10 times out of 10, you're going to be wrong. Trust me. I know from experience. I know from experience, dude. You know what I mean? So being transparent in your thoughts, feelings, and emotions can be a huge game changer. If you have any questions about this, feel free to leave a comment down below. Tip number two is being vulnerable. Your partner may or may not actually say this, but they want the true you. Even if your job is to eat iron and crap rivets every day, your partner still wants you to tell them about the emotions that you're having. I imagine if you're eating iron all day long and crapping your bits, your tummy probably hurts. Being vulnerable to your partner is probably one of the sexiest things that you could probably do because you're showing them your true self, you're showing them your true colors, and they really appreciate that. And after three years of marriage, I can really tell you that I think my wife likes to see me cry. <laughs> if you feel uncomfortable being vulnerable to your partner, communicate that to them and say it's an area for growth and you guys can work on it together and have a stronger relationship. Tip number three is to straight up love your partner. Now that one seems obviously more apparent than communication, but let me tell you something. When you or your partner come home from work, what's the first thing that y'all do? Kick off your boots, undo your tie, throw your clothes on the ground, and vent about how stressed you are. So instead of doing that, wherever you meet up with your partner, embrace each other, go in for a smooch, and say the words, I'm happy to see you. Doing this will be different because you've been at work for X amount of time without any love. And once you come home and your first words to each other are love and there's positivity and connection, you guys are gonna have a better evening for yourselves. Plan some intentional time in the evening for each other where you can communicate and be vulnerable. See, it all kind of just comes together, doesn't it? <laughs> you and your partner are humans that desire love regardless of what the other person says. If either of you come home from work or whatever situation you're coming home from, if a hug is not immediately desired, communicate that to the person. Be vulnerable and let them know, I'm not ready for a hug yet, but ready for a hug later, once I take a shower or get out of these stinky clothes. Those are three tips from a guy who's been married for three months as of yesterday. Uh, I still have a lot to learn, but that's okay. As long as my wife and I communicate, are vulnerable with each other, and just love on each other. We're building up our foundation for a bigger and better life. So everyone, I just wanna say thank you very much for watching. I hope that you learned something here. If you feel like you have, feel free to subscribe for more content like this as I continue down this YouTube journey for myself and for others. Going over these tips and relationships and for mental health remind me about these different tools that I have to help me be a better person and to have a better marriage with my wife. So with that being said, thank you again for watching. And I'll see you guys next time.